Hello viewers. Yes, as usual, I'm Wes Gaposko. Uh, I'm again back that we look at uh, the next part of our work. And uh, uh, right from the previous work we had last time, yes, uh, we are moving on. Remember, uh, I'm from Wisdom Center. That's, that's the location where we are, where you can find us, the school, and I'm a head teacher, but also handle P6. That is the science. So uh, I'm here as a science teacher today. Yeah, just you feel free and then just get steady on, on BTN TV that we, we serve you this time. Yes, so uh, today we want to go on with our revision work and uh, we want to group animals, majorly basing on, on feeding modes. Uh, yes, so when we look at feeding modes, we look at majorly how animals feed. So we classify them in different categories. So when you classifying animals according to feeding modes, okay, uh, we shall have very many groups we look at, like uh, we have animals, uh, yes, that are feed, let's say on, on, on plants, uh, or one can say on vegetation. These ones we can call them herbivores. Herbivores, okay? Yes, so majorly, uh, you will be looking at this, you find that uh, animals that feed on plants, that feed on grass, or one can say feed on vegetation, are called herbivores. Here we can look at uh, different examples of herbivores, yes? And these are very many within our uh, localities. So uh, we can have, look at goats, can have uh, cows, they feed on grass, uh, look at uh, uh, the donkeys, okay, the horse, mm. uh, the other animals like elephants, which are wild animals, elephants, look at the giraffe, giraffe, okay, yeah, it is seen. So these animals, majorly, they feed, eh? these feed on plants, very many of them, yes? So these are called herbivores. They can ask you, what do you understand by herbivores? Herbivores are animals that feed on plants, mainly, okay? Yes, so we can uh, uh, move to part B, of classifying animals based on the feeding modes. Some animals feed on meat only. These ones we can call them carnivores, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, the carnivores are animals that feed on meat, okay? You don't find them going to feeding on different other stuff, but majorly meat. Here you can look at uh, uh, examples like a uh, lion, look at uh, the jaguar, uh, uh, yeah. Hello our viewers watching us on BTN TV. I'm back, as usual, Mwesu Gwamugua Bosco, the head teacher of Wisdom Center of Gesera. That is Karumuna. Yes, uh, today I've come as a science teacher, and as last time looked at work, different activities. Yeah, we have come back again to look at more this time. Yeah, last time we grouped animals uh, basing on, uh, let's say, the backbone, or the backbones, okay? For this time, we want to base to group animals basing on the feeding modes. Yes, so grouping animals according to feeding modes, we major look at what they eat in simple terms, okay? So uh, we have animals that feed, okay? Feed on plants, grass, one can say herbs, we can call them herbivores, okay? Herbivores, okay? Simply, these herbivores, these are animals, Animals are uh, simply uh, animals uh, that feed, that feed on plants. You can say plants or vegetation. Plants or vegetation. Okay? Yeah, we can look at examples. Examples.
Okay? Yeah, so examples of herbivores, we want to see which animals specifically feed on plants. Right from uh, common animals at home, which you find, you'll find that you have cows. Yes, they can feed on grass. Look at the goats. Uh, uh, look at the donkeys. Donkeys. Uh, okay, let me clean here. Uh, okay, uh, from the donkeys, look at uh, animals like horse. Okay, horse, very many. Okay, these ones feed on plants, the camels. Uh, yes, then they also have some other wild animals like uh, elephant. Elephant. Yes, uh, talk of the giraffe, giraffe, a giraffe, also feed on, uh, yes, on grass, talk of the zebra, we can see, many of them, here you see, so mostly you find that, just check on how animals feed, whichever animal you find animals feeding on plants, which is, you can sell vegetation or grass, those are uh, herbivores. So we can go to part B, and our, another classification. We can uh, see there are some animals that uh, feed on meat only. These are called the carnivores. Carnivores. Yes, so carnivores simply are animals. Are animals. Uh, that feed on meat only. That feed on meat only. Yes, these animals don't feed on meat. Just uh, the other side of the herbivores, they're like, as you can see, vegetarians. But for the side of carnivores, for them, they don't feed on other stuff, majorly meat. If you don't give them meat, then they won't, then they are, they will starve. Uh, so you can look at examples of carnivores, okay? Uh, remember, common examples we have lion, lion. Uh, talk about uh, uh, have uh, jaguar, jaguar. Yes, talk about animals like tiger. Uh, okay, can write here. Talk about animals like crocodiles, crocodiles. We have. Uh, cats, uh, alligators, okay? Yeah, most of these animals that feed on, on meat, yeah, uh, actually, actually it's not all. We also call them carnivorous animals. If you, look, if you check majorly, one common feature with them, if you check their teeth, okay, they have got uh, uh, more canines than the scissors, okay, which can enable them to tear food or their prey, uh, okay? So we can move on to the third category of animals, based on the feeding modes. Yes, uh, this will be called the omnivores. Part C, have the omnivores. Omnivores simply, they are animals uh, that feed on both uh, flesh and, and plants, okay? We can say omnivores are animals. That feed on both. Yes, on both. Flesh. When I say flesh, I mean meat. Okay? Flesh. One can say meat. On flesh and plants. Yes, animals that feed on both meat and plants, uh, these are commonly, very common animals in our locations. You find uh, when provided with meat, they will feed on, provided with plants, and it's majorly, it's major of feeding. So there are some animals to go on having different kind of stuffs of food. But you look at the major kind of uh, food stuff that animals feed on. So these feed majorly on plants and, uh, and, and meat or flesh. So examples of omnivores here, okay. Uh, we can look at uh, 
the most common example here is man. Okay? Whatever you give man, you will eat. Actually, uh, there's when you go on defining food, you can find that uh, food can be anything that is edible and has no harm to the body. Somebody will eat, man will eat. You'll find man eating different food stuffs and uh, which you may, know, you may wonder. But majorly, a time with feeding depends on even our cultures. Yes, you can. Uh, uh, very common, you can move here. Yes, so we can go on, look at the pig. This pig, at times, uh, in our, when we had lower problem, we could look around and say it is a P1G. It's very, <laughs> quite interesting. So pig, for this, majorly, you find that it, uh, it uh, also feeds on uh, whatever is given, majorly plants and, uh, and flesh. Yes, omnivores, we have more examples like monkeys. Monkeys also feed on both plants and, uh, and meat. Uh, the gorillas, gorillas, uh, the chimpanzee, uh, chimpanzee, uh, yes, more baboons. So these animals, most of them we find that, yeah, but these are the most common examples I can look at. The man, uh, look at man, pig, monkeys, yes, gorillas, chimpanzees. These animals, they can feed on both meat and plants. We can call them uh, omnivores. Yes. Uh, okay. If you can check, maybe they are kind of teeth, you can find they've got more, uh, more molars, more, more molars, more premolars, which can help them to chew food properly, all those kinds. They have got all the stuffs of teeth. They sit. They have the incisors, they have the canines, they have the molars and the premolars. These uh, uh, omnivores. Okay. Uh, from there, this, we can look at uh, the fourth part. Part D. Okay, we have animals that feed on insects. These ones we can call them insectivores. Insectivores. Okay. Insectivores simply you can say animals that feed on insects. Animals that feed on insects. Okay, so these animals, you find that uh, what is very interesting with them, you find that uh, they have got uh, longer sticky tongues, yes, which can help them, yeah, to attract, okay, or yes, to attract the insects. So they, 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 their tongues are sticky. So like, uh, look at a chameleon. If it's just around and there are flies, its tongues can easily trap them because of the stick what sticky substances. Okay, so examples of these animals. Uh, we can say common examples of insectivores. Now we have chameleon. Chameleon. Uh, insectivores. Uh, we can have uh, the frogs. Frogs also feed on insects. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, look at uh, most of these amphibians are here. Actually, you can look at amphibians and reptiles. You can find an animal can feed on, uh, on insects. Yes, we can add uh, the toads also can feed on this. Uh, more animals that can feed on uh, insects. Look at uh, the hedgehog. 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 Uh, we have the porch pines. Watch pines. Yeah. So all these animals, majorly, find that uh, their feeding modes, okay, is that uh, they feed on insects. They are insectivores. Okay? Yes. Uh, let us move on. I think, uh, don't mind. We can uh, clean this side. Okay? We can clean this side. But I will have use of it. Okay? Yes, so uh, see, we have super grouped animals in the four groups based on the feeding modes. We can look at the fifth, mo fifth group here in the feeding modes. <laughs> yes, 
We have animals that feed on roots and stems. Uh, these animals, okay, the grouping here can be called rodents. Rodents, okay? For rodents, simply, uh, they are animals. Uh, animals. Uh, that feed, uh, that feed on roots and stems, on roots and stems. Yeah, what's quite interesting with these animals here, the rodents, for them we find that uh, uh, they majorly, uh, they know, we call them knowing, yes, they know on uh, on, on hard surfaces to sharpen their teeth. That's how they make their teeth sharp, because they feed on hard food. Look at uh, roots, stems, okay? Yeah, that's what they feed on. So when their teeth are blunt, they will know on hard surfaces, stems and what, to sharpen their teeth. These animals majorly, I find that uh, they have got to more, uh, let's say majorly use their, their incisors for knowing on food, okay? Uh, examples of rodents, examples, okay, we have uh, rabbits, rabbits feed by gnawing on food, okay, we have the squirrels, squirrels, uh, we have moles, Talk of mice. Yeah, uh, yeah, these ones feed on roots and stems. We can call them rodents. Remember what's very common in them, we say that uh, you find that majorly uh, they feed by gnawing on food, okay? And uh, these are animals also say that uh, they, f uh, they feed on stems and roots. Those are called uh, rodents. We can, uh, uh, okay, yes, move on. We have at least classified animals based on the feeding modes. So please remember, the feeding modes of animals commonly, uh, we can look, group them as herbivores, can group them as omnivores, okay? We can group them as carnivores, uh, insectivores, uh, rodents, yes? Yeah, we can also have the last one, which we can call it as uh, that's part F, okay, as the grain eaters, or grain eaters. We can say grain eaters, grain eaters, or grain eaters. Grain eaters or grain eaters are simply animals that feed on seeds, okay? Uh, let's see this, okay? Grain eaters or grain eaters. So these are an animal, these are animals. These are animals. That feed on grains or seeds. Yeah. Okay. So commonly here, the examples you can look at here, most grain eaters you can find a uh, these are majorly birds, feed on grains. Common birds we can mention here, yes. Uh, if we have to look at examples, uh, look at uh, common birds like uh, hens, feed on what, uh, talk about uh, ducks, to give them grains they will have, talk about uh, the pigeons, Talk about the parrots. Uh, yes. Uh, talk about uh, the doves. Uh, it is okay. Commonly birds, but within the birds, we have some other birds that feed uh, uh, on uh, insects and uh, and meat. So birds which feed on meat are called the carnivorous birds. Like talk about the eagles, the hawks, the vultures. As long as we can classify them under carnivorous animals. But then there's other birds like hawk, like hens, like ducks, pigeons, parrots, doves, those which feed on seeds. We call them 
uh, grain eaters or grainivores. Yes, so this marks the end of uh, 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 the feeding modes. We can now see another part that we can handle. Because we see we are grouping animals based on the feeding modes. Uh, from the feeding modes, we also have the locomotion mode. Okay? Yes. So having grouped animals in the feeding modes, let us simply look at, uh, yes, how, how animals move. So this is also grouping animals. So when you look at the way animals move, you can simply have them in specific groups. So, mm. grouping animals based on, uh, on locomotion mode. You need to look at first locomotion first. Uh, Locomotion. So in primal four, simply you define the locomotion as uh, the way how animals move from different places or from one to another. That's the locomotion. Simple locomotion can mean movement in the simple terms. So you can say locomotion. Locomotion is the movement. The movement. Movement of animals, okay, of animals from one place, one place to another, okay? Yeah, so animals move from the places to, to other places, from one place to another, to other places. So you find that uh, there are very many reasons why animals move. So we look at uh, why Reasons as to why animals move. Reasons as to why animals move. Reasons as to why animals move. Must move. Or locomote. Yes. They can ask us reasons for locomotion. Once the animals move from one place to another for different reasons. Majorly, they look, uh, animals move can say animals move to look for, they can move to look for their young ones, move to look for their young ones, okay? Yeah, if, if the young ones are maybe, let's say, in a different place, they move to go, they look for them, yes. They can also move for protection. Animals can move from one place to another, yes? If you look, look, look at bees, like I, can find that they have swarming in the bees, bees moving from one place to another. You find sometimes, yes, uh, like the work bees, or they go and sing the, the drones, you find that they will have to move from one place, okay? And different animals, okay? So animals can move for protection, even human beings. When you see a place is hostile, you move and you go to another place which is safe. So you can say some animals move to look for protection. Uh, move to look for, to look for protection, for protection, yes, uh, yes, uh, animals can move, to look for shelter, to look for shelter, yes, that's why uh, you can move during the time, move around and at night you come back in the safe houses. Yes, animals like birds, mammals, all move to look for shelter. If time comes for resting, they will go into their shelters. Yes, uh, animals can move still to look for food. To look for food. Mm. There are many reasons as to why animals move. Maybe you can have one more and then you move on. Animals still can move to look for mates. Okay, animals, animals move, look for mates, to look for mates. Uh, this is where you see uh, the male, uh, the female animals uh, move from place to another looking for the male animals. Or oh, the male animals look, move to look for female animals. Look at the dogs. If you have a dog at home, if it's a, a female dog, Pitch, you find that uh, if for a night you may not have it at home, we have to go and move to look for the male uh, animals, the dogs. So you find that uh, animals, right from mammals, 
uh, mammals, amphibians, birds, they all move to look for mates. Uh, okay, uh, we can now simply look at uh, uh, different locomotion modes, okay? Ways of moving or ways of movement. So you can look at uh, different locomotion modes. Locomotion modes. Okay, and then uh, we look at examples in each. Okay, and the examples of animals in each. So here, uh, when we are classifying animals basing on the movement, we have animals which move by swimming. So the first locomotion mode, uh, it is swimming. You can handle this, okay? Animals move by swimming, okay? We have very many examples here. Uh, commonly talk of fish move by swimming. Uh, this all, all the sea animals. Talk about the whale, uh, the dolphin. Uh, then uh, we have an, we have amphibians and reptiles. These animals they have got short limbs. Their limbs are also modified into fins for swimming. So when they're in water, they will be swimming, move by swimming. So you can add the all amphibians here, like uh, Todd. Add here frog, uh, newts. And salamander. Uh, so these ones, these are all amphibians. They also move by swimming while in water. Then you can also add reptiles. Reptiles while they're in water, they also swim. They will modify their, their short limbs can be modified into fins for swimming. So talk of the crocodiles. Crocodile. Alligators. Yes? And many others, all the reptiles, they will move by swimming while in the water. Okay? Yes. So uh, with this, we can see that uh, some animals will be having different modes of movement. Okay? Just like in feeding. Can find animal can feed on different things. So even here in locomotion modes, we don't be surprised seeing an animal uh, moving by swimming and then moving by crawling. Okay? Yes. So uh, we can clean this side. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, let us clean this side so that we move on. Yeah, so uh, this topic is quite interesting in the way that uh, you realize that animals have got different ways of movement. Okay, one can even have more than one, not just a single movement. So we can look at the second way of movement, so animals can move by crawling. Crawling. Here is a, a locomotion mode. Yes, remember when I talk of locomotion, I mean a movement, okay? Yes, so animals can move by crawling. These are very many. So simply to understand them, just to look at uh, uh, the reptiles. Reptiles simply move by crawling. Reptiles, we have those which have got limbs and other limbless, like the snakes are limbless. Others have got limbs, limb those short kind of legs, hind and the forward limbs. Yes, so uh, we can talk about uh, snakes here. Can I move by crawling? Talk about uh, 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 the lizards. Talk of the chameleon. Talk of alligators. Talk of the gecko. Very many, ATC. So for here, animals move by crawling. Simply mention an reptile, meaning they crawl on the ground because of the short limbs. They can't easily walk straight and them and walk properly. This is while on land. When they're in water, they'll be moving by swimming. On land, they will move by 
scrolling. And then this can take us to, to part C of the locomotion mode. If we can see that some other animals can move uh, by flying. Flying mode, flying as a locomotion mode. So yes, you can look at examples here. These animals, majorly here, is quick. Just mention all birds, any bird. Birds move by flying, yes. Uh, also you can add the only mammal, only flying mammal, which is a bat. I think we're gonna begin by the bat. Here, yes, they can ask to mention, and mention the mammal that uh, uses flying as its locomotion mode, that's a bat. Then you can look at uh, the old birds, talk of the, uh, talk of the parrots, uh, talk of the eagles, eagles, talk of the kites, uh, talk of the uh, for kites, uh, talk of the hawks. Doves, sorry, doves, woodpeckers, very many, it's a variety of them. Yes, but the, here within these birds, we have some other birds like uh, the ostrich, fine, is very heavy. Yes, it can fly, but it can't fly for a long distance, can do more of running but also can be classified here. We have birds like the, the penguins. Penguins don't move properly, can't actually fly. We can call them flightless birds, so you can leave mention them here. For them, uh, they, have, they have got weak wings. The penguins, the kiwis, they can't fly because of their nature. Their wings are weak compared to the bodies, to out the body weight. Yes, yeah, so you can exclude the, 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 you can exclude the kiwi, the penguins, actually even the ostrich, because to do more of running because of the weight of its body. Yes, uh, so from this, we can look at uh, another mode, which is walking. Uh -huh. So to understand animals that move by walking, major look at animals, the animals that have got strong and straight limbs, okay? These animals have got very strong and straight limbs. Yes, the common examples, Look at uh, mammals like man. Don't forget man. Okay. These goats. They have got straight and strong limbs. Look up at uh, the cows, the donkeys. Look at the house. The camels. It is seen. So you can see all oh, these animals, you will find them walking easily, okay, on their strong limbs. Okay, uh, another way of movement, can talk about uh, running, part A, running. There are animals that you will find every time, you find at least there's more stuff of running. Yes, many beasts you can move, and maybe when you feel it's a, an option to run. But for animals that move by running, you'll find that most of the time, yes, they are like jogging, they are running. So here uh, we have animals like, uh, yes, dogs. Dogs who move. Actually, most of these carnivorous animals who move by running. Talk the dogs, talk of the tiger. Talk of uh, talk of uh, uh, jaguar, yes. These animals, yes, anything. You find most of the time. Maybe also you can, yeah, we can add the cheetah, yes. Cheetah, yeah, etc. So these animals, every time you find them, they are running. At least they have to do a bit of running if they are to move. That's movement by running. Yeah, let us try to clean here. Uh, if you don't mind. Mm. So, yes, we have another part of the locomotion mode. Uh, that's how uh, we can talk of. That's by sliding, okay? Yes, some animals can move just by sliding. 
Okay, sliding. Some can move by sliding. Okay, uh, simply talk of. Uh, okay, yes, snakes can move by sliding. Snakes. Uh, talk of the snails. Okay, they move by snail. Uh -huh. Then, uh, okay, yeah, bring, uh, bring about the worms. Worms also will be sliding. Can you move by sliding? For worms to make, get more examples, you can mention any kind of worm. Yes. Uh, then lastly, okay, not least, uh, they have animals which move uh, by jumping. Actually, not last, because you have like three. Okay? Yes. Jumping. Uh, animals move by jumping. This one you find that uh, uh, you find they, their hind limbs are very strong. Those are much moved by jumping and hopping. They are very strong hind limbs compared to the forward limbs. So those which move by jumping can look at uh, the kangaroo. Kangaroo. You find all the time they will be jumping. Okay? If it's moving, they move as they jump. So then uh, look at uh, uh, the frog. Frog will jump. Frog will jumps. And then, uh, uh, okay, yeah, also rabbits, rabbits can, rabbits can be in both running and jumping, okay, uh, then, uh, okay, uh, last but not least, you can have those which move by hopping. Hopping as a locomotion mode. Animals which hop here simply look at uh, the grasshoppers. Grasshoppers move by hopping. And these locusts also can hop. Though can hop and fly, both of that. Locusts. Yeah. Mm, and then uh, uh, lastly, you can have the last mode of movement, which is uh, part I, animals move by wriggling. Wriggling. Okay. To ring, we find they go on folding their bodies. Yeah. The wriggling. Here we can simply look at uh, uh, the caterpillars. If they are to move, they move by wriggling. That is a caterpillar. Caterpillar. Okay. Uh, caterpillar. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, so yes. Uh, coming to this, uh, we shall be remaining with just one lock, one mode. Hmm? The millipede. Millipede. A millipede. We also have the centipede. Centipede. These millipede, the millipede and centipede are closely similar, but the difference that uh, for the millipede you find that uh, it's on each segment there are two pairs of legs. And then for the centipedes, on each segment there's one pair of legs. That's the only difference, but they are very close. So that can help you distinguish them. Yes. So I hope you can see you have looked at different modes of locomotion. And uh, we, uh, yes, we looked at uh, crawling, looked at fly, uh, flying, walking, looked at running, looked at sliding, jumping, hopping, wriggling, looked at swimming. All these are uh, locomotion mode. Remember, locomotion is the way how animals move from one place to another, or is the movement of animals from one place to another. So we looked at the why animals move, a couple of reasons, and this is very common and very important. Uh, so uh, for this time, we will come to the end of our lesson. And uh, yeah, I thank you, uh, yes, for your attention and your time. And uh, I still uh, remind you to keep following us, check us, fall on BTN TV. Yes, uh, check us on YouTube, Twitter, uh, 
Then uh, school website, Wisdom Center website, Facebook, and uh, WhatsApp groups. You'll be finding different questions for revision, and uh, wish you the best. May God bless you.